district records reading. We're just waiting on Lynn. Lynn's running late, I think, a bit. So just waiting on them. How are you guys doing? How did you find out about us? Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. How did you find out about Lynn's work? It came on YouTube. Okay, perfect. <laughs> and then it guided me. Yeah. Awesome. And um, do you know much about the Akashic Records? How much have you heard about it? Yeah. Okay. I was reading on it and uh, I am lucky to be here today. <laughs> awesome. Have you joined us um, in the past as well? Yes. Okay, and awesome. I, I watch all the, the sessions you had in the past. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> That's really good. And I've been sharing uh, a course of miracle. Yes, yeah. I'm a, I'm a student of course of miracle for more than a year. Oh, beautiful. And uh, I've been watching uh, Mary Magdalene lesson commentary. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I think today is lesson 314. Oh, okay, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> That's awesome. And actually, I share both the lesson from Jesus channeling through Tina. Yes. Uh, yeah. And then uh, through Mary Magdalene, I share both of them on Twitter every day. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> Hi, Kathleen. How are you doing? Oh, you're muted, actually. Here, let me ask to unmute. There you go. <laughs> well, good. How are you doing? Doing well, thank you. I don't. Awesome. I don't think it was YouTube that I saw this advertised. I think it might have been TikTok. Okay, beautiful. But also on Facebook now. Yeah. On Facebook. <laughs> awesome. Yes. Yeah. She. Yeah. Lynn is on TikTok a lot as well. Yes. <laughs> so you might have seen her there. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, she's just running late. She was just finishing up a meeting and she's she'll be here in like three more minutes. <laughs> the so. busy woman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I did find one other um webinar that she had. I want to say it was last year, and I don't remember exactly what it was, but one person, I think it had to do with third eye, and okay. one one person was chosen and she worked with her. And it was pretty amazing. Yeah, I think you might be talking about the ESP session, I think. Yeah. And she opened up yeah. her clairs. Yes, yeah. yes, that's what it was. That's yeah. what it was. Yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, we had a lot of people from TikTok for that session, for the ESP session. So, yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Though I mean, it was very emotional for her, but also I was crying. <laughs> or it wasn't even me. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, Linda's amazing work. I um, and you know, once you heal, then all your clears start opening up. Um, and so I know of someone whose clears opened up, and now they have suddenly become an animal communicator. Oh. Like they can hear what living animals are talking from like a healing session <laughs> that is so cool that it is, it's amazing. it's crazy yeah it's unbelievable <laughs> but it yeah. is true yeah <laughs> it's yeah. huge i would love that <laughs> can we request <laughs> <laughs> right yeah <laughs> that would be amazing Kiryanka, what is that if you can teach me what is sorry the ep esp is that esp um so it's like uh opening up all your clairs um so you have like five different five or more different types of clairs so like your third eye which is you can see and then hearing and some people can even smell and taste spirit right and just um hearing in terms of thoughts and the knowing clear cognizance is knowing um so that's what lynn takes you through different processes to heal you because we are all psychics to begin with 
um but then we you know have these human belief systems that come in and maybe you know in our past lives um like there's a lot of people who come in and they talk about their past lives and they saw something that was going to happen and it was something that was like negative for the village that was going to happen um and then the village elders they just like burned that person alive so what that person ended up doing is okay so i'll just close my third eye because if i keep my third eye open i get burnt right so that's the lesson that they took from that past life and they carry that forward so a lot of us are carrying those things forward and that's why we've closed all of our clairs because maybe such incidents happened wow so, yeah so that's one of the processes that lynn takes us through is where she heals you from that incident from that trauma and now all your clairs start opening up. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys. We were uh, just talking uh, about opening up for... your clairs. Uh, oh. Kathleen had uh, come in for the ESP session that we had last year. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Saw someone's uh, third eye opening. So that's what we were talking about. Very nice, very nice. My apologies for my tardiness. I had to run an errand for my mom. She was taking... She has a friend who's indigent and as part of uh, her service for the church, she goes and she takes them communion. So I picked her up, unfortunately, a little later than expected. So my apologies for my tardiness. Anyway, thank you so much for being here. Oh, all right. Just give me a moment to settle. <laughs> you can take a breath. You're a busy take woman. It. Take it. <laughs> and, you know, then we get to the door and she's like, do you have a key? And I'm like, do I have a key? And I've got two bags in my head. And I'm like, I don't have a key. <laughs> All right, let me take water. Yeah, we, um, we were just talking about how um, in our past lives we have shut down certain clairs because of certain incidents that have happened. I'm reading this series of books right now. The first book is called The Right Use of Will, and it's a woman by the name of Sian de Rohan who wrote a series of eight books. And basically, she channels the voice of the will and a, like a direct communication from source, from God. And God's basically like, all right, you guys, I gave you a chance. You had one thing to do. You're just supposed to love each other. I even gave you free will. And you guys have all kind of fucked it up. So here's the spiritual smackdown. You need to go in. You need to reconnect with your will, not your minds, not even your hearts, but you have to go down to your will to like the feeling center, the juicy, juicy feeling center. And what's become apparent to me is that all of our clairs exist down there. And we have closed it down, closed it down, closed it down, closed it down, because there were lifetimes of us being killed, like the oracle wounds of us being killed for our gifts. You know, oh, you can see, let's gouge out your eyes. Oh, you speak, you know, let's cut out your tongue. Oh, you can hear, you know, let's make you deaf. And so we come into these lifetimes and we're like, who am I? We have no memory and no recollection. So one of the things that I do with another class that I teach is I teach people these phenomenal skills and tools to open up their psychic abilities. And after all that's opened, it, it takes about a month to get all those skills kind of cleared out. Then I teach people how to read the Akashic records. And then I teach them the mother of all the exercises, which is the Akashic healing. And that's how to not only just go back in and find the lifetimes, but to actually do the healing work associated with them. So that's kind of like my body of work and the work that I do. And Oh, let's see, this year I've been doing it for 34 years. And um, I had my spiritual waking when I was about 11 years old and got a copy of the Edgar Casey book that was all about Edgar Casey reading the Akashic Records. Do you guys know who Edgar Casey is? No. Yeah, I've been reading on the website. So Edgar Casey is known as the sleeping prophet. And he would go into this deep trance and he would bring back information from the Akashic Records. And sometimes it was how a person died in the lifetime and where the trauma is in their body. And sometimes it was like medicine to feed them, but the medicine was in the form of like baked apples or um, uh, coconut water and bananas or, you know, oil of smoke. People would say, where can we find oil of smoke? And he'd say, there's a pharmacy in Pittsburgh and someone would call this pharmacy in Pittsburgh and they're like, we don't have oil of smoke. And he would say, look on the second shelf behind the blue bottle and there was oil of smoke, you know? 
So he was just phenomenal that way. He would come back. He didn't remember anything. And when I go in and I do a reading, I don't have a memory. I'm literally, they come in, they scoop me out. Me and Lynn, my dazzling personality, were, you know, exit stage left. And then they come in. So it's one of your masters, teachers, loved ones. It's one of the lords of the records that comes in with this information. I find this one, Lynn, this book. <laughs> What's this one called? The Quarian Gospel of Jesus? Yes. The, the by Levi. By, Who, Levi. Uh, by Levi. By Levi. By Levi? From the Akachic record he wrote it. Oh, I love that. And it I, was, not, I, <laughs> I went to library and next was the bookstore and I bought it for $2. Wow. And then I say, wow. Then I was reading and all Jesus, Mother Mary, all the story from the Akashic record are in here. <laughs> beautiful. beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So my, my purpose in life, is, it's fascinating. There's a woman who has done a bunch of paintings and I've purchased several of her paintings. She's probably made about 25 paintings now and I've purchased four of them. She's doing another one for me and she's doing one of my higher self whose name is Sahaniel. And as she's been revealing Sahaniel, the story of how she is the wisdom keeper of the guardians of the Akashic Records. And the very first time I opened the Akashic Records, there were these beings and they were jumping up and down and screaming, Halls of Amenti, Halls of Amenti, Halls of Amenti. And I was terrified. I didn't know what was going on. So I closed the Akashic Records and I was like, what the hell just happened? And so I reached out to my teacher, Linda Howe, who was teaching me how to read the Akashic Records. She's an incredible master of the records. And she said, look, they're just really excited to see you go back in and ask them to kind of quiet, calm down a little bit. So I went back in and I was like, hello. <laughs> and they said, you are a guardian of the records. And the halls of Amenti was where the Akashic records were kept in Atlantis. And then they were moved to Egypt and uh, Myself and a, and a bunch of clients just took a trip to Egypt. We were there in May of this year. It was incredible. So I have a mission and I have a responsibility to teach people how to access the records for their own, to connect with their own soul's wisdom. And when I was really young, someone said to me, what do you think your, your sole purpose in, in life is? And without even blinking, I said, to remind people of their relationship with God. And so I have been on this gorgeous journey since a very young age to bring people back to their connection, their divine connection. Jesus, you can go through Jesus. He's an incredible liaison. But what he says is go to God directly. And the Akashic Records are really a phenomenal way to be able to do that. So as Matanya has been painting this painting, like there's been this whole other aspect of me that's coming forth, this divine feminine goddess. The painting is gorgeous. I think I can drop it in the chat so you can see what it looks like. It's just absolutely stunning. And she has this, huh, she has this ball of light in her hands that represents the Akashic Records. And her name is Sahaniel and there's light language. And I spoke light language for years and then it scared me a little. So I kind of shut it down. I don't know what I, I'm saying when I speak it, but the really bizarre thing is when somebody else speaks light language, I know what they're saying. Go figure. So we all have these gifts and we have these abilities and we have these places where we've, like when something is petrified, it either means that it's hardened to stone, but really it's, there, it's when something is so scary and terrifying that we've taken a feeling and an emotion and, and we've been so terrorized by it that it hardens. And so one of the things that this series, the Right Use of Will series is doing is helping us get back in touch with the part of us that can help to like soften and loosen these feelings so that we can have our gifts back. Because we're all supposed to be that psychic. We're all supposed to be able to communicate with spirit, you know? It's our God-given heritage, so to speak. So, um, Kathleen, I'm being told that we're going to read your records today. Really? Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Wow. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. So what I need from you, let me grab a piece of paper so I can write this down. I need your full legal name because that's how the records keep. <laughs> Okay. And it's not the name you were born with, rather it's um, like the name that you would sign a legal document, like your taxes. Okay, right. that's the same. It's um, Kathleen with a K. Okay. K-A-T-H-L-E-E-N. Mm -hmm. Anne is my middle name, A-N-N. -N. Mine too. <laughs> and my last name is O'Leary, O apostrophe, capital L, E-A-R-Y. A nice Irish girl, <laughs> Kathleen Ann O'Leary. Okay. All right. So Kathleen, there's a prayer that I say, part of it is allowed and part of it is silent. And I'm basically shifting frequencies to go into a state where I'm going to be communicating with your master's teachers and loved ones. So the thing that I'm going to invite you to do is come up with two or three questions that you would want to ask of them. And, you know, we're, I'm going to go in and we'll see how this goes. So it's not going to be me. I am a full body trans channel and an Oracle. So it'll be one of your master's teachers and loved ones. And we'll just see what it is that they have to say. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. And so we do acknowledge the forces of light asking for guidance, direction, and courage to know the truth as it is revealed for our highest good and the highest good of everyone connected to us. Oh, Holy Spirit of God. Help me to know Kathleen in the light of the Akashic Records, to see Kathleen through the eyes of the Lords of the Records and enable me to share the wisdom and compassion that the masters, teachers, and loved ones of Kathleen have for her. The records are now open. Mm. Greetings, beloved one. We thank you for heeding our call for you to join us. Mm. We come to you today with love. We come to you today to remind you that you are far greater, far more powerful, and far vaster than the conversations you will sometimes entertain within your mind, beloved. Hmm. Ask us what questions you may have for us so that we may help to direct you further on your pathway and on your journey of your soul's evolution and transformation. How may we be of assistance to you, precious being of love? My question revolves around my purpose. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it is I should be doing and how to move forward to assist in mm. whatever way is needed. Mm. Beloved, you, each being carries an element with them. The element that resonates with you is water. There is a facility and an ease that you have with your communication. Your words are gentle, they are tender. Within the healing arts, there is the necessity for those who carry the element of water 
to connect with others. Understand that there is in the north, you have the winds, you have the mind, you have thoughts. In the east, you have fire, you have spirit. In the west, you have the body, you have the earth. And in the south, you have the water, you have the spirit of love. Hmm. You have a great compassion for others. You have a great empathy for others. What you must allow yourself to do towards your soul purpose, beloved one, is to bring back to recognition how it is that you were trained, how it is that you were taught in the temples of old. To be able to feel the heart of another and to help them to unlock the places where they are bound within. Beloved, you have had people come and say to you, I don't know why I'm telling you this. You are so easy to speak to, have you not? Yes. Mm. This is because you have been trained to listen. You have been trained to receive. Mm. Beloved, what many people need is a witness. They need someone who can hold them in their pain. This is one of your great gifts. This is your connection to Kuan Yin, the goddess of compassion, shall we say, for you have been a student of hers indeed. Allow yourself, beloved one, to find a school, if you will, to find others who are like-minded, who can continue to help you to remember so that you may then teach others these ways. You were directed here to us, beloved one, for there are many within this community that are familiar to you, for you have all journeyed together through many incarnations, many cycles of development. Beloved, there is much chaos that is ensuing on your lands right now, your planet. Hmm. One moment, please. Hmm. And when there is a still, calm, quiet voice that brings peace to others, this is what is necessary. And this is your sole purpose, beloved. You have a way of calming the waters when they are rocky. Investigate your connections with Poseidon. Investigate your connections with what you would know as Atlantis. Hmm. You have an understanding of how to listen to the hearts of others. And there are many whose hearts are heavy and they would indeed love to receive the blessings that you can bestow upon them. Choose a course of action, beloved one, and head in that direction. This beloved oracle, herself and with others, has communities for those who study the wisdom from the ancient mystery schools. This may be something that would be of interest to you, which is why you were directed to come here. So you can have a conversation with her and with others to find out what your options are, shall we say. You could find yourself heading in a direction that will be your soul calling to you. And you will find great happiness in these endeavors. Does this answer your query, beloved one? Yes, it does. Thank you. Indeed. Are there any other questions you sh should like to ask of us? Um, typically, the, the messages that I get from God are overnight, but I hear nothing, I see nothing, and I don't know if I should be having those abilities or what I could do to obtain them. They are to be remembered, beloved. They are to be excavated. These are gifts that you have that are inherent to your soul. This is training that you have, and it has been covered with rubble. It is like when they discovered the head of the Sphinx in the desert and uncovered 
so much more. There is so much more depth to you, so much more width to you, so much more height to you than you have allowed yourself to remember. So yes, all of these abilities can be brought back for you. It just requires a bit of what we like to call spelunking, where you are willing to go down into the darkness, beloved one, hmm. and bring this information back to the surface. Understand that you may need to walk through several pain points, if you will, where there was trauma and there was a decision to close down these gifts before you were killed in several incarnations, some 17 that we can see at this particular juncture. And as you endeavor to do this work, beloved, you will find that your frequency will raise to the point where these gifts will come back online for you indeed. The reason you have a desire for them, beloved, is because you know that they exist. They are inherent within you. And indeed, beloved, we are here to assist you as well. We thank you for hearkening to our invitation, for listening, and for showing up, shall we say. There is so much more to you than meets the eye. Know that you have our love. Know that you have our guidance, for we are always with you. And you will recover your ability to hear, to see, to know, to feel in a conscious state. It has been safest for you in your sojourns as you slumber. But indeed, the awakening has come. Beloved, we shall speak with you again. We thank you for your attention. We love you and we are with you always. This transmission is complete. Thank you. <sighs> okay, there's a closing prayer. I would like to thank the masters, teachers, and loved ones for their love and compassion. I would like to thank the lords of the Akashic Records for their point of view. And I would like to thank the Holy Spirit of Light for all knowledge and healing. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. The records are now closed, amen. Oh. That was pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're 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 really cool. So much love comes from them, you know. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm relieved to know that I will, <laughs> I I will be able to regain some of the abilities, some of the gifts. Yeah, yeah. Oof, I got goosebumps. Hold on, they're they're still here. They're downloading. <sighs> okay, so. <laughs> there's a there's a class that's coming next week that trains these tools it's an eight-week program <laughs> thank you um i love when the little hearts come on the screen uh if you would like information on that we can get that to you um there's individual work that you can do with me um i do mentoring work with people i do healing that I kind of call witnessing work with people. And if that is anything that you would like, I am here at your avail. When people show up here, you know, like this is my home that you've been brought here because spirit wants you to, you know, take this path. So um yeah. Yeah. It's it's all there. It's all there. It just needs to be revealed. So thank you all for being here. I wish you a wonderful uh, rest of your Friday. Shabbat Shalom. And um, Kathleen, are, are we connected on Facebook? Is that how you found us? Yeah, um, actually, I think it was TikTok, but I am now connected to you on Facebook. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm actually a Long Islander also. <laughs> Where do you live? I'm in Oakdale. 
Oh my God, that's so funny. I'm in Huntington yeah. in the North. I saw that somewhere. I'm like, oh wow, she's from Long Island. Oh my God, how fun. Long <laughs> Island. Only girls from Long Island say it that way. <laughs> right. Okay, cool. Well, um, mm-hmm. if you are interested, you know, I'm more than happy to share with you, you know, what we have and what we offer, things like that. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm not exactly, you know, it's just the financial catch because I am just divorced a year. So things are kind of in a funky state, you know, okay. but um, yeah. we, I can help you with that. You know, like God is, has taken care of me so I can take care of other people. So we can definitely work something out. Yeah, the same thing to me happened. <laughs> I know. I lost everything. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Hi, Kian. <laughs> oh, how cute. Yeah, this is Priyanka's son, Kian. Thank you. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> they have a lot uh, of Lynn, can I ask you a prayer for me? You remember last time you gave me a reading? Yeah. Uh, and my office is foreclosed. Mm-hmm. already my house my wife is so angry they are my house is also for getting foreclosed in two weeks okay and just uh, need uh, prayers for my wife for me i understand i have to go through this but my wife is going through hard time okay so the thing that's that's being told to me right now is to turn to god and Tell him what it is that you desire, and she needs to turn to God too. Because she's so caught up in the anger, it's like she's invested herself in the anger of all of it. Yes. Just needs to get on her knees and just be grateful for what she has. Because that's really the key. Jesus, I did this whole reading this morning with Jesus, and he's like, you know, you can't focus if you focus on the bad you'll just get more bad but if you can focus on the good you'll get more good and he's like you just got to focus on what you can be grateful for and ask for what it is that you desire so the catch is uh 20,000 they say she has to pay to live right. in the house i am already in maryland left the house because of the fight we had now I pray to God to give peace. For me, I am peace. Internally, I am peace. Everything we live it anyway. But from her side, I, I don't know what can I do. Get her, get her to calm down, get her to pray. You know, she's just so consumed with the anger. She has to, she has to remember her connection to God. And this is her lesson. Okay. She she, it's 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 a hard one for people to understand but we have literally willed everything that we are experiencing we have literally brought it all into our lives to experience and you just prayer is the only thing that i know that works every single time when we communicate i don't know how i should respond because all that come is like the anger and what to say even i ask holy spirit what i say and there is a gap what to do even responding to this talk talking like yeah you got to just keep asking asking for the clarity asking for the wisdom ask 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 and the one thing that i always recommend to people is just get out a piece of paper and a pen and just start letting stream of consciousness come out and come through and the answer will come it comes every single time. Yeah, I've been doing the three things you advise us. When I yeah. wake up, I ask Holy Spirit, Jesus, what do you want me to do today? Yes. How do you want me to spend? Where do you want me to go? I'm doing it every day. For me, mm-hmm. I see miracle every day. But on her side is like a hell. Yeah. Have you done your forgiveness work? I am doing every day, yes. To forgive yourself for what she's experiencing. Yes, for both of us, I pray, forgive us. And then God. you have you have to look within you to find where you may still be angry because she's okay. reflecting that anger to you. So you have to go in and heal the anger with you and then the reflection disappears. Okay. So that, that's, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome, love. All right, my darlings. Um, 
Kathleen, reach out to me on, on, on Facebook. And yeah. Metku, are you on Facebook as well? No, I, I'm not. All right, but you and I are talking through the website. So let me reach out yes. to you on the website and we'll set something up, okay? And oh, Kathleen, we can, we can make this affordable for you, I promise. That would be wonderful. Yeah, and it'd be my delight. All right, thank you both thank so much. Bianca, thank you for being here. Thank you. All my love. We'll talk soon. Naku, I will pray for you and your wife also. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, much love. Thanks. Bye-bye.